model one of Bootstrap. So in last session, we have seen about what is Bootstrap, applications of Bootstraps, and the packages include inside the Bootstrap. Now, in this session, we will be learning about how to download a Bootstrap or if, if you do not want to download a particular file, then how to embed a CDN file inside your program, how to create a web page, and example of it. So let's start. Now, downloading a bootstrap. If you want to download and host bootstrap yourself, go to getbootstrap.com. So, we'll just click to this link and we will redirect to this kind of website. Once you go here, see, you can find two things. First, install package manager. That means you can install the whole package or else simply you can include a CDN file. The CDN file is here. You have to just copy to clipboard here as well. Copy to clipboard and just we have to paste it there. Now here we have two files. That is one will be for bootstrap and one will be for jQuery. So both the files should be installed. But if you are installing a CDN file, that means both the files should be linked inside your bootstrap program. So let's go back to the slides. Okay. So, you have seen, if you want to download, you can download and store wherever you want. But to remember that, you have to remember key. we have to save that particular folder that is jQuery package or bootstrap package inside the same folder in which you have your bootstrap. Okay. So, let's begin. Then, if you don't want to download and host bootstrap users, you can include it from the CDN file. As I said, you have to visit the link and as it is, you have to copy paste the link from your. So here it is. You have to just copy paste and embed it into your file. Then our next topic is how we can create a first bootstrap page. So let's begin. First and very important part is add the HTML document. So bootstrap uses HTML element and CSS property that requires the HTML5 doctor. So, as you have studied HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, our main sentences or our common sentences will always start with doc type HTML file as well as we save all these languages file with the help of .html extension. So here as well for the bootstrap, we have to save the particular file with .html extension. Whereas while declaring the program, while the starting the program, you have to start with HTML doc type. Always include HTML5 doc type at the beginning of the page along with the lang attribute and the correct set. Now, lang attribute means language attribute and characters like we use as UTF-8. So that we have to mention when we write a bootstrap code. So syntax would be doc type HTML, then HTML lang equal to English. So we use English language, you have to specify your English, then head open. Inside which we will write meta character UTF-8. Again, head close and HTML close if you want to add body section. So, you can add. But this is the first stage or first level to start a program. It is very compulsory to write that doc type lang language and what character set are you using for your program. Our next part is creating first bootstrap page inside which we are seeing that bootstrap 3 in mobile first. Now here bootstrap 3, bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 5 will give you the same particular syntax. You have to use the same syntax for everyone. Now here I have forgot to mention 4 and 5 but you can use the same particular syntax for 4 and 5 bootstrap as well. Bootstrap 3 is designed to be responsible to mobile device, mobile first style and the part of core framework. As I have already said that with the help of Bootstrap, it is very easy to make the mobile view inside which we see into mobile. The user interface is very easy to build is with the help of Bootstrap files or so the Bootstrap classes. So in Bootstrap 3, 4, 5, it first focuses on mobile first style. To ensure proper rendering and touch zooming, and the following meta tag inside the head section means if you want the mobile user to feel same as website user and to zoom in on website, we can zoom on mobile. It should be able to zoom that particular character. They should be able to use it user friendly. 
for that we have to add a meta tag inside the head element what does this meta tag does meta name equal to viewport as you can see your meta name equal to viewport content equal to with device with means as the width of the devices a website or a web page should be converted to that width or should be converted to that user friendly environment so initial scale equal to means they are saying us that whatever width we are using the width device equal to width part says the width of the pages to follow the screen width of the device which will vary depending upon the device so this particular width equal to device width it means see normally for html if you want to declare some width container so we simply write width equal to 20 pixel or width equal to 30 pixel according to the need of the user but here we do not know ki who user is is the user using laptop or is the user using the device so you are simply have to mention that inside the meta name that with equal to device with so whatever the device with would be that with will be the container with for that time of period and the initial scale one part set the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser see if you see an image inside a web page or inside a laptop okay so that image will be much wider than the phone image the much wider information you can glance at once but when we compare it to the phone the image or the content which we want to see are much smaller so initially we have to keep the zoom level as one because for if your device is larger then it will show you minimum 100% width and here if the phone so it will show you minimum the phone size with that is the zoom range for the phone equal to one next is container now when you move from javascript jquery to bootstrap here the concept comes of container and container fluid bootstrap also requires a containing element to wrap sites contain means it required a container so we used to use or build a container like dev uh, session so all that part will be same but inside that element we will be using two parts that is container and container fluid so first there are two container classes to choose from that is the con dot container class provides a responsive fixed with the container whereas the dot container fluid class provide a full with container spanning the entire width of the viewport now what do you mean by viewport the scene the screen which we see on our window the amount of screen that is the viewport means starting from this to this end on starting from left to right and whichever part we see that is the viewport so dot container will have a fixed width container so as you can see see first example is dot container class and it has a specific width okay it have left some margin from top right bottom but when we talk about dot container fluid it has specified the entire width of a viewport if i minimize this particular container then also it will occupy the full width of the container so this was all about three steps for starting or creating a web page the important part is to add html document then to add a meta characteristics to make your website responsive according to the width of the device and the third part is to declare container which container we are going to use is that is dot container or dot fluid container so let's move to the practical implementation of this so here i have taken a blank file i have simply saved this file with dot html extension after that we will write a simple html program now this is a simple HTML structure. Now, as we have studied that, first step is to add the doc type. So, we have already added a doc type. Now, inside which we have to mention the lang. So, here we are mentioning HTML language equal to English. So, first step is to mention the English language. And then, we will add a can set inside the head section. So, for that, we have to mention meta set utf8 so this was the first step to add doc type html to add language and the third part is to add the character set that is utf8 
again we will give title as bootstrap html bootstrap first program we will give so our title is bootstrap first program after that a second step was to specify the width so for that again we have to write the syntax as meta name viewport and content equal to with equal to device with device with so simply we have mentioned that content equal to with equal to device with so whichever content we are viewing on the outside page or output page that will be set according to our size of a screen okay second part is done after that we have to add the cdn link so cdn link we have seen how we can download the cdn link so here i have already copy pasted the cdn link you can simply do the same thing you have to copy paste the lines which you want frequently inside the program and just copy paste from there so simply i am copy pasting from here that is link for both bootstrap and bootstrap bundle so we will control c and then control v so we have got two links one for css bootstrap and one for js as i said we have to download the both the file for dot css as well as for dot js so we have simply downloaded so our basic and initial step for creating a bootstrap program is done to add doc type language meta character viewport and links cdn links of the bootstrap jquery package then we will now start writing the program so inside the body section we will write simple div we will take a simple div tag so div now here we have to mention class now which class either dot container or container fluid so first we will mention dot container okay then inside this div we will take one h1 tag h1 my first bootstrap page we'll take one paragraph this part is inside a dot container okay dot container class and what does dot container provides we will mention that that is this dot container provides a responsive fixed width okay so responsive fixed width so as you can see we have got our first bootstrap page with the help of container so as we have studied in the ppt part that container has fixed width so it will place some kind of margin space from left right top and bottom and when we talk about container fluid so here we'll just copy this div and we will add one more div and giving class as container fluid save and let's see the output so as you can see when we talk about container fluid it starts from the left margin that is it will cover the whole width of the container but when we talk about just container class it will have a specific responsive fixed width for that container so this was difference between container class and dot container fluid class so i hope you have understood how to write a first bootstrap program you have to try this particular part at home to understand better about how we can declare container class container fluid class i hope you have understood thank you